Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and welcome back to Krendor Talks in front of a shitty green screen. But today, we've got some big green screen stuff because it is the Battle Tome roadmap for 2022. And you might be like, wow, they're showing everything all the way up to 2022 and for some reason don't show any of these Battle Tomes, but show this one in the winter to be Slaves to Darkness? That's crazy, why is that? Well, it's because leaks happen. And a lot of leaks happened, like, actually, an insane amount of leaks. It was, I was, like, blown away. I'm like, wow, someone, someone must have did something. I don't know what's going on. Because I didn't even know they had books printed all the way up to winter already. And uh, so it must have been, like, a playtester or somebody, like, super inside the, the old workshop or something. I don't know, but... Uh, I mean, if you want to find the leaks, they're all over. You can find them. I'm not really going to go into leaks and stuff on this channel, but I did want to talk about what I think these battle tomes are going to be in between because essentially what happened is the leaks came out and then I think they saw that and they're like, we got to put something up to make it seem like, hey guys, we kind of leaked it on purpose, but they really didn't. <laughs> um, and so they did. They're like, you know, we're coming out with a new demon prince. Uh, so he was unveiled, and I guess he looks cool. His face is kind of weird, but I guess there might be multiple faces you can use. I'm not a big, like, demon chaos person. Like, I play Skaven, Beast of Chaos, and I think Zinch are cool. Those are my chaos factions. Like, I'm not a big, you know, Corn Slaves to Darkness, other chaos faction thing, <laughs> you know? That's just, uh, that's just my personal preference. I don't think they're bad. I don't, like, dislike them. I'm just not really interested in them. So... Uh, they're pretty much like, yeah, new Demon Prince model, and the uh, Slaves to Darkness Battle Tome coming in the winter. Uh, with apparently a bunch of new models from what we've seen, and four Battle Tomes in the fall. That was the biggest surprise to me. Like, out of everything, I was like, dude, they're putting out four fall Battle Tomes? Let's go! Um, and so if you can see here, we got Order, Chaos... Destruction, destruction. So two destructions, an order, and a chaos. And then we obviously have the summer ones, which are chaos order, and then the ones coming out very soon, which are Night Haunt and Daughters of Cain. Um, so I just wanted to do a little speculation on what I think these books are going to be, because I love this type of stuff, and I also love battle tomes, because it makes me want to play armies that I have that I haven't built. and which Or it makes me buy armies like for Nurgle. When Nurgle came out, I was like, dude... Nurgle, whatever, I don't really care about Nurgle. And then I saw their battle tome, and I was like, yo, this is kind of cool. <laughs> and now I have an entire Nurgle army. So, uh, you know, it, sometimes <laughs> it makes me buy stuff. Sometimes I don't care. Like, Daughters of Cain, I really don't care. Um, so I'm still not going to buy a Daughters of Cain army. But if a Gloomspite Gits book arrives, I still have a bunch of Gloomspite Gits stuff. Some that I've built, some that I haven't built. So that would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, either way, let's talk. So, first things first, the Summer Battle Tomes. Alright, we're getting close to Summer. Uh, kind of, but close enough to where they're gonna be the next things announced. And I think they're gonna be announcing these probably, like, next week. Uh, at the Warhammer Wednesday show thing they're doing. I don't know, whatever it is, or Thursday. Um, I'm, like, 99% sure it's gonna be Skaven and Sylvaneth. <laughs> I mean, judging from, like, the, the show banners they put up, there's two Sylvaneth banners. It's already been rumored that it's going to be Sylvaneth. Uh, the only two, uh, or one of the only Order factions that hasn't gotten a new 3.0 tome is Sylvaneth that also hasn't gotten a tome celestial update, which kind of ties into everything. You're not going to do a tome celestial update for a faction you're about to make a, a battle tome for. And there's just been, there's been, I think there's like some rumored stuff of like, uh, repackaged, uh, or like repackaging of Sylvaneth dryads or something a few months ago. It's probably Sylvaneth. And then the Chaos one, it's probably Skaven. I mean, they did like, they did the wording of like mischief and people were like, oh, it's like a, a pack of rats is called a mischief. Or I don't remember what it was. Something rats is called a mischief. But even if it wasn't. The fact that they said a chaos faction that causes mischief, like, who else causes mischief? Like, Zinch? Like, I guess, but... I don't know. And then they also showed repackaged uh, Skaven. Uh, so, the fact that there's, like, this whole thing and then repackaged Skaven, it just... It adds up. 
<laughs> like, I, it's, it seemed, and then I could see Skaven and Sylvaneth being kind of in a battle box together. Some people are like, oh, no, Skaven is like Sylvaneth. Like, literally Skaven, like, dig into the ground to get warp stone, like, eh, and they're, like, drilling in the shit. And then you got Sylvaneth that are, like, the forest and nature, and they're like, hey, these rats are, like, tearing up nature to get their stupid stone they're gonna, like, ingest. And they're just like, get out of the way, Blah. Like, that just makes sense to me lore-wise. I don't know. Uh, and I, <laughs> so, uh, honestly, it seems like that's what it's gonna be. Um, so, then we go to the fall battle tomes. This is where it gets a little more interesting, right? I think it's gonna be, okay, so we got order chaos to destruction. One of the destruction is gonna be the gloom spite gets. Like, 100%, without a doubt, I would bet so much money on this, it's crazy. Like... <laughs> The the Gits are one of the worst factions in Age of Sigmar. Like, they're garbage trash to the point where people rank them in their own tier, okay? There's only so many destruction factions you can have. Some people are like, oh, maybe it's going to be a new destruction faction. I don't think so. They literally just did Cruel Boys, all right? I don't think we're about to get another new destruction faction. I just don't see it. Uh, I mean, it they could be doing a new... Sons of Behemoth book. I don't think they would do that this soon either. I think it's going to be Gloom Spite because they need it desperately and it makes sense. And I think it's going to be Ogres because uh, I think they're a little outdated as well. And I think... Because their book's what? It came out, uh, I think, 2019? So, I mean, you know, it's not like old, old, but it's... I, I, they're not doing anything special. I think that's going to be Ogre. I think it's going to be Ogres and Gloom Spite. Then, for the Chaos Battle Tome. I think that's where it gets interesting. Because a lot, some people are like, okay, maybe it's going to be Corn. I don't think it's going to be Corn because they just got a Tome Celestial update. Like, this month or last month or something. So, like, why would they do that? And then just a couple months later do a Corn book? I mean, they could. But, uh um, and the same goes for Beast of Chaos. Now, I think Beast of Chaos are a little more likely than Corn, because I could see like a Gloom Spite Beast of Chaos box being a thing. I've heard that's even um, something that was rumored in the past. I've also seen like rumor engines where there seems to be some Beast of Chaos esque models uh, in there, so that would also kind of tie into it. Uh, and I guess it also fits the lore narrative because, you know, we're in the like realm of Gur and monsters and everything and then beasts of chaos um in fact the last couple of rumor engines have had like a dirge horn which is like a beast of chaos thing they had some other beast of chaos like neck thing and there's a couple other stuff some dude on reddit may have think about it um so i could actually see this tome being beast of chaos i could also see it being zinch i think zinch might be my top pick because they're they're another faction that has not gotten a tome celestial their book is also pretty outdated so if i had to put it in the list of order the chaos tome that i want is beast of chaos but the chaos tome i think it's going to be is zinch so i would say zinch beast of chaos corn slanesh <laughs> i think slanesh is like at the bottom sorry slanesh but like they just got a book not that long ago even though it kind of sucks and they're, I think they're getting a Tome Celestial update, like, this month. Like, I, I just can't see it. I think it's Zinch or Beast of Chaos. Like, Beast of Chaos, again, for, like, the the rumor engine, the narrative fit, like, the just a whole the rumor engine models. And then Zinch, because they haven't even gotten a Tome Celestial thing, and I could, I could just see it happening. Um, and then, the Order Battle Tome. Now, this is where it gets even crazier, because... Order, <laughs> I'm about to blow your mind. So if we go to the order factions, right? We go to the order factions right here, right now. You, we will see that I don't know how to use the internet. And okay, there we go. So we've got Sylvaneth. I think that's going to be this book. We've got Stormcast. They just got a book. We have Seraphon. Could be. We've got Lumineth. Which I don't think it's going to be, but some people are like, it's going to be Nobita. We got Caradron Overlords, which I think they need a book, but I don't think it's going to be that. Plus, they just got a Tome Celestial update. We have Deepkin. They just got a book. Fire Slayers just got a book. Daughters of Cain got a second book. 
<laughs> and then Cities of Sigmar. So, let me tell you why I don't think it's going to be Illumina. The last seven books, all right? So let's say this is Sylvaneth, all right? Let's say this one's Sylvaneth. Okay, what did we have? We had Lumineth, we had Daughters, we had Stormcast, we had uh, Fire Slayer, Deepkin. Actually, there was another Lumineth in there. <laughs> and then I guess this would be Sylvaneth, right? So that's seven. So that would mean four of the last seven battle tomes have been Daughters or Lumineth. If they do another Lumineth book, that means... 50% of the last eight books they've released for order have just been two factions. In fact, Lumineth would practically be like almost 50% of the battle tomes at that point. Like, I, I just can't see it. Like, <laughs> guys, I know all these other factions are in like 2.0 uh, and outdated, but like, what if Lumineth just gets like a third book? <laughs> I, uh, I think Lumineth will get a third book, but I think it's going to be like, I'd say like next year. Probably like, probably like spring of next year, if I had to guess. I think that would probably tie in more. They'll probably get some more models or something like that. Like, I just, I don't see it. I would, this is something else I would bet money on, that they're not going to do a third Lumineth book out of seven <laughs> battle tomes. I guess this would be the eighth, but still, that's, I, I can't see it. Um, so I think it comes down to two choices here. I think it's either Cities or Seraphon. It's Cities or Seraphon, and I think... Seraphon got a Tome Celestial, but I could also see them just being like, Seraphon's busted right now. <laughs> like, Seraphon's insane. And I feel like they might just want to redo Seraphon stuff and maybe do a couple new Seraphon models with it. Maybe they do new Salamanders. Maybe they do new Croxagores. Whatever it might be, I could see that happening. And then I could also see um, them being the faction that fights the other destruction faction. In fact, wasn't there like a, a Seraphon versus Sons of Behemoth weird like rumor at some point? So I mean it could even be like one's Seraphon and one's the Sons of Behemoth in a battle box or something. Like, I don't know. Um, but they could probably fight ogres as well. Uh, I guess cities could. I don't know because like I think it's just I honestly would put 50-50 on Seraphon or cities. Um, but that's that's what I think for the order. I don't even think Seraphon really need the new book, but I think they would do it just because they don't know how to deal with Seraphon. <laughs> like, guys, this faction's insane. Like, they're just winning tournaments. It's like literally Stormcast and Seraphon just, like, blowing everyone away. So I almost think they would do it to maybe calm them down a bit, add a little more balance to them. So it seems like right now at this point, they're like, uh, how do we fix Salamanders? Uh, they're worth more points to kill, I guess. I don't know. So... Uh, that's what I would say. I think those are all my guesses. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. What are your thoughts and opinions? Uh, what do you think these books are going to be? And I don't know. I'm just, I'm excited we're getting four books and not two. Because everyone's like, uh, it'll probably be like two books and then like maybe a winter book or two or something. But nah, we're getting, we're getting four fall books, dude. Let's go. Um, and one of them might be Gloom... Dude, as long as I get a Gloom Spike Gits book, I'm gonna be happy, and I'm gonna play the Gloom, Gloom Spike Gits, like, 100%. Without a doubt. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya!